After all, we're back to oblivion, so last time, we helped out a widow's brother from another mother, and we ended up murdering a whole bunch of people for him because he thought they were all spying on him, which they weren't, but screw it. Who am I to call him a liar? And we made a metric ton of cash, which we desperately needed. Now, in the process, we also accidentally, well, kind of accidentally, got recruited to work in Castle Skingrats, and now, hopefully, we can get into the jail and find the guy we need to find to get that goddamn book and not get in trouble for it. So I believe, yeah, the dungeons are here, so I think what we have to do is go and speak to the jailer. He should open the cell for us, and then get in and find the guy. Now, where the hell are we going is the question, because it's like a goddamn maze in here. I think it might be down here. Yeah, looks like it. Is that the evidence? Yes. Okay, so are you the jailer? Yes, you are the jailer. Okay, what's Out up, buddy? Out of the way, slop drudge. What do you want, slop drudge? Well, I want to drudge some slop. What the hell do you think I want to do? Let me in the cell, you git. They ought to just give you guys a key. But no, I got to keep locking and unlocking the door for the slop drudges. No, oh, poor you. Follow me. My heart bleeds for you, buddy. It honestly does. I go, no, I have to unlock and lock a door. Don't you have a hard job? No. No, you don't. Stop your complaining. Okay, I see a guy there. Are you the... No, you're not. Okay, who the hell are you? Are you here to rescue me? <laughs> don't be silly. Of course I'm not here to save you, but I'm going to say yes anyway, just so we can manipulate just him. Just unlock the door. A couple of hours after you're gone, it'll be quiet again, and I can sneak out. Yeah, but see, here's the problem. What's in it for me? Anyway, tell me about Theranus. You mean the thief? He was in the big cell with that Argonian. They were always whispering to each other. The pale lady took him days ago. Creepy. Okay, so who the hell's the pale lady? Every few days, she comes for one of us. Some return, some don't. Those that are taken three times never return. Maggot. This was Theranus' third time. Well, shit. Okay, so where does she take them? I don't know. She took the Argonian less than an hour ago, though. He put up quite a struggle. He was bleeding all over the place. Them damn Argonians always bleeding everywhere. Okay, thanks, you've been don't most let helpful. The guards catch you. And I'm not gonna save you. Ha ha! What's that? Oh, it's a cup. Ah, well, we found the blood, and I see that suspicious wall there. Is it the candle? Yes, it is. Again, I've done all these quests before, I don't really remember it all that well, but, uh, kind of like the most suspicious wall I've ever seen in my entire life. Right, what's in here? Apparently, jack shit. I'm not opening a hard lock just to find nothing, and no, I'm not gonna say- Why does this shut? What the hell? And no, I'm not gonna say that guy, because I don't think we're gonna get anything for that, and frankly, we are too low on lockpicks to do that shit. At the school. Now look, oh, speaking of which, thank you, Jesus, we actually found some. I have no idea how many we have now, but it ain't many, so, uh... Yeah, that's extremely handy, and I would assume since they're there, we're probably actually gonna have to lockpick something, so, uh... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go... Uh, I feel like I should probably be sneaking, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a pelvis. <laughs> I wonder what the hell that was. Ah. Uh, okay, I keep thinking I'm about to step on traps or something. I swear I'm just used to scarring with, you know, everything you step on is a bloody pressure plate. Right, and now we seem to be... What the hell? Right, so there's Scum Grow. Stop shutting the damn doors, you bitch! So there's Scum Grow Yarrow, whatever the hell his damn name is, the guy we actually got the job from. Why are we in, like, the bedchambers or something? It doesn't make sense. Like, why would the guy be dragged from a cell, down the secret passageway, then down where everyone's sleeping, and then out the other side, and then apparently to somewhere else? That's very strange. Okay, I have literally no idea where we're supposed to be going right now. I guess you know, just follow the blood. Right, now, sneak went up. Now, I think that's just because people are around, and maybe we're allowed in here, but it kind of looks like we're not, so I'm going to be very, very careful, because I do not want to get caught, cool, because that would suck. Trust me. Right, I don't think we go that way. Like I say, I assume we just follow the blood. And I see suspicious-looking barrels. Now, I remember one of these barrels from a mod that I played once. You could actually go inside it, and I'm assuming we can actually go inside one of these, because otherwise, where the hell do we go? Here's the question. How do we open the damn thing? Uh, ah! The candle, of course. Does it... No? What? Oh, it's that one. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Right, let's go. And my god, I cannot believe the maid's actually kept up with me. She disappears so damn... What the hell? Uh, hello? Are you the power lady? If it's a fight, you you kind of look pretty pale. Yeah, it's, it's a, a power lady, you're right. And oh, shit, I can't get the... F well, okay, she's dead. Well, suck it. I get the feeling she's probably a vampire since you know all the blood and the name the power lady. Yeah, vampire dust. So she could have infected us, I don't think she did, but you never know, gotta be careful of that shit. Hey, and there's the Argonian. Now I'm guessing, yeah, that's the guy we're looking for, and he's dead as a doornail. 
Okay, well, let's go loot the guy, because we're a grave robin son of a bitch. Thanks, buddy. Even in death, you are handy. Oh, hey, human blood. I think you can use it. In fact, no, I don't really remember what the hell use it has. Maybe it doesn't do anything. I don't remember. Whatever. Right, we loot this place. What's up, buddy? We need to get to safety. No correction. You need to get to safety. Are you the Argonian prisoner? Uh, that would be me. I thought so. I am so glad you are here to save me from the vampire. Yeah, she's pretty dead. Those Creighton Skingrad guards caught me stealing a fish and locked me up. You have saved my life again. You are a true friend. I will not forget this. Uh, I've decided to join the Thieves Guild. No more jails for me. Yeah, I won't count on you. You're an incompetent tit. Tell me about Theranis. Theranis? How do you know about him? He was my sailmate. At least until the Pale Lady took him away. We shouldn't take him far because he's right there dead on the ground. Did he mention a book? No, but he did give me a message about a treasure to deliver to the Thieves' Guild if I was ever to get out. Well, ain't that handy? After the first time Theranis was taken by the Pale Lady, he knew he was going to die. Get me out of the castle, and I'll give you his message. Or, oh, you know, I could just leave you in here to die. Anyway, let's talk about Glatha. The town eccentric lives in the big house on the corner, southwest of the chapel. Don't worry, he is harmless. Yeah, perfectly harmless. Wouldn't hurt a fly. What about the pale lady? vampire. She took my cellmate, Theranis, a few days ago. If it hadn't been for you, I would have been next. I know I'm a goddamn hero. Okay, what about the book? If that's Theranis' treasure, I know where it is. But I'm not telling you anything until we're out of here. Get me out of the castle. Oh, you son of a bitch. As soon as we are out of sight of the castle's main gate, I'll tell you. See now, personally, if it was up to me, I'd make the guy tell me or just leave Let's him go. here, but uh, I don't think we have a choice, so I guess we'll save him. Oh, we have the key. Well, thank Christ for that, because I was not looking forward to breaking yet more lockpicks that we can't afford. Now, I don't know if uh, Armand Christophe, whatever his damn name is, is actually back, because if he is, I should really go visit him and buy some more lockpicks, as we desperately need them, but I got a strange feeling he might still be locked up. I might be wrong about that. Don't really know. Are you coming? Yes, you are. Okay. Now, I've got to escort both of these people out of here. That's gonna be fun. The maid, I'm sure, will disappear and start sweeping and get stuck in the wall again. Stop getting stuck on things! Good lord, you are useless. It's a candlestick, it's not that complicated. Right, I think we go this way. Now, I assume once we're past the red doors, meaning we're not where we sup- Oh my god, really, is he not fought You son of a bitch. Get your ass out of here. Anyway, now- Really? Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, now I assume once we're past the red doors, meaning we are allowed to be there, then it's okay. But in the meantime, we have to sneak around, and I'm gonna rob anything I can find. Is there a guard down here? Does it look like it's right? So where the hell do I go? I have no freaking idea. Screw it, we're going down here. Hopefully this is the way to go. Now I think it looks kind of safe, but you never know. A random guard might just be there, and boom, I get arrested. All shit breaks loose. So uh, yeah, got to be very, very careful. I have genuinely no. Hey, we got to level up in the uh, sneaks now. We can level up properly. Fantastic. Okay, we'll do that later. Right. I think we are pretty much safe now. Okay, so I just gotta get him past the castle bridge, I think. If you know I ever managed to find my goddamn way out of here, because right now I am lost as hell. Okay, we're past the castle bridge, or at least I thought we were, but he's refusing to tell me jack shit, so... Frankly, I'm about to start beating him repeatedly in his face until he starts to talk, but, uh... Yeah, maybe it's this Anything bridge. Anything for my savior. Thank you! About damn time. Right, now tell him about the book, you son of a bitch. He told me to give this message to any member of the Thieves' Guild that asked about him or a book. Spit out, then. Look under the bush near the well behind the restaurant's house. I was going to take it for myself, but I owe you a great debt. You should take it. Yeah, no kidding. Plus, if you didn't, frankly, I'd murder you horribly. Thanks. Now get out of my sight. Safe journey. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so am I supposed to know where Nerestoril's house is? Because I don't see a map marker. Yeah, that's what it says, near or well behind his house. Nope, we don't have a map marker. I have no idea where the hell that's going to be, so I guess I'm going to run around here trying to find the damn thing, but yeah, I ain't got a clue right now. Oh, 
Ah, uh -huh, bingo, found it. Right, now I assume it's down here. Yeah, keep up with me made for Crest 6. And yes, she keeps disappearing. I still don't know how to stop her sweeping, but it's driving me nuts. Okay, this is clearly not a well. Where the hell is the well? Uh, hello? Oh, it's there. Right, so it's behind a, or under a bush or something? Uh, is it, I, um, is it this bush? It's gotta be this one over the back here, surely. Hello? Book? I don't see anything. Well, shit. What the hell is it? Wait, what's that? I saw something. Oh, thank you. Holy shit! Apparently, was in that bush the entire time. I ran around for like another five minutes because I thought, well, I checked the bush. Clearly, it wasn't there. No, I'm a blind son of a bitch. Once again, always surprised. No, we're not. Right, okay. What do we do now? Do we just go back to Screever? Yes, okay. I'll see you there. There you are. What's up, baby? I'm back. You have found Theranus and the Lost Histories of Tamriel? Yeah, Theranus know the book, yes. Well, technically I did find it, but he did. Theranus is dead? I grieve for him, but at least you have the book. The Grey Fox has sought this book for many years. You have earned the reward. Here is your payment. Yeah, you're damn right I did. Fantastic. Okay, give me another job. Hey, we've got 400 gold. Anonymous Lex must be eliminated once and for all. The Grey Fox has asked that you do this personally. It is a most delicate matter. You want me to beat him to death delicately? Got it. What's the plan? Countess Umbernox of Anvil is hunting for a new captain of her guard. The Legion commander of the Imperial Watch sent her a list of candidates. Okay. The Grey Fox wants this list replaced with one that highly recommends Hieronymus Lex. From Anvil, he can do little harm to the guild. So we're gonna promote him to Anvil? Okay, where's the letter? The letter is currently in Steward Dara Hill's desk. She has lied to Lady Umbernox, telling her that the letter has yet to arrive. <gasps> that lying scumbag! By the way, you have really shifty eyes. And why not just kill Lex? We are thieves. Not murderers. I'm that a murderer. Is the province of the Dark Brotherhood. For reasons unknown to this one, the Grey Fox has extended his protection to the Umbernox family and Lady Umbernox in particular. While Lex is a problem for the Guild, his unwavering loyalty and resolve make him the perfect protector for Lady Umbernox. God, he's a pain in the dick. Okay, so how do I forge the letter? You will have to track down one on your own. I don't know of any in Breville. With the forged letter in hand, sneak into the Legion Commander's office in the Imperial City Prison and seal it with his seal. Dara Hill cannot be trusted. You must deliver the letter to Lady Umbernox in person. Will you accept this commission? Baby, for you I'd do anything. It shall be done. That is good. Remember, this is a mission of stealth, not blood. Your payment will be higher than normal to cover the expense of the forgery. Okay, take it easy, creepy eyes. I'll be back. Right, let's get out of here, maiden. If you stop Shadow and start swimming in the wall again, I'm gonna be very, very upset with you. Right, so we haven't been to Anvil yet, so just like last time, I'm gonna start from Gavatch. We'll head over to Anvil. As always, if I find something along the way, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll just see you when we get there. Actually, whilst I remember, let's see if whilst we're in Kavach, we can actually rest and level up, because I think there are some unknown beds here. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's get this damn level, otherwise, I'll end up forgetting for like 10 episodes. Right, so we don't have any extra bonuses, but I think we're still going to get strength, and definitely agility, and I I'm kind of leaning towards endurance, but not really too concerned about that. I guess we go with willpower. There we go. Now, game, don't freeze on me. It kind of worries me every time for some reason, and it doesn't normally do this, but lately it's freezing every time I uh, level up. It, it comes out that it hasn't actually crashed, but, uh, yeah, do not know what's up with it. Who the hell are you? I down and close my eyes, but I can't stop thinking about it. That's lovely. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, looky looky what I found, yet another Oblivion portal smack bang between Kvatch and Anvil. Yeah, at this point, why do you not have a weapon made? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, at this point, it kind of seems like there almost always, if not always, is one. So, uh, at least now we know if we need them to go farm the uh, sigil stones to level up gear, or, you know, enchant gear, I guess. At least we know an easy way to find them. What the hell? Oh, there's a scamp there. 
Nice, good buddy. I, yeah. I said, there we go. Holy shit, man. It's kind of depressing. The maid hits way, way harder than I do. We need to get some better equipment. It's been a long time since we actually got an upgrade, but, uh, what can you do? It's one of those things in Oblivion. The higher level you get, the more gear people will actually drop. So, eventually, just by way of leveling up, we will find better gear. Eventually. Yeah, apparently I found full strength. Where the hell is it? I was there. Well, I did not see that whatsoever. Now, as I mentioned, I think it was in episode 2, there are a whole bunch of random dungeons all over the place, but uh, they don't get very interesting. Unless you get sent there for a quest, then, you know, mostly they're okay, but uh, generally speaking, when we find them, we're gonna... What the hell happened to my weapon? Did he, did he knock it out of my hand? Oh, uh, what the hell was that? I have never seen that before. Oh, da, da, da. Get away from me. Maid, save me. I'm getting kind of ganked in the corner here. Die, you scumbag. Okay, I think we got this guy. Anyway, yeah, like I say, if we find dungeons randomly, we are probably gonna generally ignore them, because I don't find them that interesting, but, you know, we'll get sent to a whole bunch of quests and stuff like that. Sorry. Sorry. We'll get sent to a whole bunch of quests and stuff like that, so when we do, we'll do those, because, you know, they're gonna be more interesting, but the random ones that you don't really have to go in are usually kind of boring. Not always, but usually. Okay, we are about to arrive in Anvil. This is actually probably my favorite city, like, before and after using better cities, because it's gigantic, it looks badass, there's some awesome scenery here, and there's some really cool quests, like, uh, Knights of the Nine we can start here, and we are probably gonna do that very soon, because oh. I think I know how to start that. Get away from me, guard, you creep me out. I think it might be this guy on the left. What's up, buddy? I wouldn't go in there Boy. unless you have a strong stomach. Did you fart? We have orders to leave everything just the way it was until the investigation into the chapel attack is finished. Oh, I see. Tell me about the chapel attack. It's baffling. How anyone could have gotten in and out of there without being seen by our patrols is beyond me. Maybe that prophet is right. Some kind of unholy doom visited upon us. Oh, you know, maybe you're just terrible at your job. You wouldn't happen to know where Darryl's office is, would you? Looking for the steward, are you? Her office is in the private chambers, but she's not there much. You can find her in the audience chamber in the mornings. She dines with the Countess from evening's eighth bell until midnight. Ooh, <laughs> fancy. Okay, where's this prophet then? He preaches most of the day across the street from the chapel. I used to think he was crazy. But now he seems to be making some kind of sense. <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean I'm going crazy now. <laughs> no, I'm sure you're fine. Okay, thanks. Leave me alone. Well, you rude son of a bitch. Okay, I believe this is the prophet over here. Anyway, yeah, this is the Knights of the Nine quest, I think. Well, well, a wayward son returning to the church. What do you want with me? I need some information. What do you know about the Anvil Chapel attack, you old bastard? This is only the beginning. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal Whitestrake, in his dying breath. I love this voice actor, by the way. Umaril? Who the hell is that? Umaril the Unfathered! The Sorcerer King of the Aliens, who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of men. No, well, naturally. He was cast down by Pelinal Whitestrake. But Umaru's spirit survived! Megan! And now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods! No, not vengeance upon the gods. What kind of a madman is he? And tell me about that damn jail attack. Do you understand nothing? The blood speaks. I can read the ancient runes if you cannot. As Uibala, Umarale El Nada Rakuva. Kali Ma Shakide. In the alien tongue. By the eternal power of Umaril, the mortal gods shall be cast down. A curse upon Umaril's ancient foes and a threat. Okay, so how do you propose we stop this Umaril filler? Alas. Umaril cannot be stopped. Not without the aid of the gods, not without the Crusaders' relics. Without a champion, the gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine Crusaders' weaponry? 
Hmm, who among us would be worthy? I don't know, maybe me? You would quest for the holy panoply of Pelinal White Strike? The legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages? Sure, why not? Are you a worthy knight? <laughs> Am I a worthy knight? Are you insane? I'm the baddest man on the planet. I have no claim to fame, though. Let the gods be the judge of that. I cannot see into men's heart. I see only their words and deeds. Well, I'm a murdering, thieving scumbag. How's that? How can I find the relics? The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. Why and how they act is not predictable. What I can tell you is that, <clears throat> traditionally, knights who wish to quest for the relics would walk the pilgrim's way. Walk this way! Travel to Talk the way this way! Of the nine divines. Pray to each of the gods in turn and ask their favor upon your quest. If the gods deem you worthy, you will be granted a sign. Go forth with the Nine's blessings. Yes, Sensei, that will be done. Tell me more about the relics, though. The weapons and armor of Pelinal Whitestrake, Alicia's comrade granted to him by the Eight Divines. He went alone into the White Gold Tower, challenged the alien sorcerer King Omeral to single combat, and slew him! What a badass. Alas, Umaril was not truly slain, but only cast beyond the bounds of Nern. And now he has returned to wreak his vengeance upon the gods, as was prophesied by Pelinal himself with his dying breath. Only a true knight, wielding the holy relics of the Divine Crusader, has a chance to defeat Umaro. But alas for Tamriel, the Crusader's relics have been lost for many an age. Who now can succeed in the quest for the relics, where the greatest knights of legend all failed? Uh, excuse me, sir, we went over this. I care. I'm the hero, goddammit. May the eight and one guide your steps. Okay, so we have the Knights of the Nine quest now. We're not gonna do that right away. I wanna get whatever we're doing in Anvil done first, then we'll do that next. Okay, so next time. We steal the documents, forge them, then get the balls out of here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.